Hello everyone. This video is part of the series on low level design. And in this video, we'll focus on the programming fundamentals. So here is the strategy. First of all, we'll focus on the programming fundamentals and then we'll jump on to the design patterns and eventually we'll focus on the complex problem statements like design a chess or design a snacks and ladder game etc. So we'll not directly jump into the complex problem statements but we'll first build the building blocks and one such building block is enums. So what is enum? If you see in Java this is how you can define enum is a special data type in Java and it is there in other programming languages as well which predefines the set of possible values. So for example if I use enum called as month so in that case I can have a predefined set of values which I'll be using in my program. So in this video we'll talk why enums are important and why you should always try to use enums in your program whenever possible because it will give you an advantage in a way which will prevent you from getting into buggy situation. So you will not introduce bugs in your code and you will use the power of compile type programming languages where a lot of validations are done at the compile time. So let's quickly start. If you define any enum, this is how you can define. You can have Jan, Feb. So this is how you can define an enum and define all possible values. Likewise, you can have other enums as well. You can have an enum called as public enum direction. And you can set the values as. So in this way, the direction can have only four values. So many times I have seen that we don't completely use the power of enum. So let's see one such example. And in that example, let's say we have a function. We built a function and that function name is, let's say private int get days count of a month. And here, first of all, we'll start with a simple example or let me rather move it to a separate file to give you more feel and more clarity of the idea. I can name my class as month helper and say I start with string month name. Let me create a hash map which I will use to return the days of the month. So we have defined the days of the month hash map and all we need to do in our code is to return. So it's a simple programming concept. You have a hash map with the string as key and integer as values and you are able to return the days of the month. So how would your program look like? You can create a instance of month helper and then you can call this and let's now run the program. You can see the days of the month of January is 31. It is working fine. Likewise, I can put FEB and again, this will also work fine. It will give you 28 days. Of course, you can consider the ideas of leap year, etc. But this is how you can get the days of the month. Now, what is the problem in this? I think you would have guessed because of the topic of the video that the problem with this approach is that you are using strings in your function call. So let's say some other developers because in the companies or in the projects which you work upon, generally it's not your pet projects. There are multiple people who work on the project. So what happens is that multiple developers would be coding on the project. And let's say one fine day some developer joins your team. And for that developer, the spelling of February is this. So he says that this is how I'm going to fetch the value. And that's how the bugs get introduced that 
the developer did not see how the values are stored and or that developer missed it so this developer will give this value and then we will try to run the program and when we try to run the program what happens yes it says that it could not get the value from the map so this is the error which you will end up getting that the value is does not exist for this key february so we agree that this approach is not good because it is error prone multiple developers will join your team and then they can make such a mistake where they input some other value to get the days of the month so this is what can happen now what's the solution one of the solutions which people do and again this solution is not correct but let's just talk a bit about it what they do is they create constants so what they do is that they create a you know whatever class name as month constant let me move myself here and here they give some values say public string jan equal to all right so this is what many times people do that they have a constants and then in the main method they try to put the constants so basically they will have month constant dot february and not just that what they do is <clears throat> here also they use the constants so this is how they set the hash map value using the constant and then using the constant they make sure that the values are called and this will work because the constants have the same value in both the places that's why they are called as constants and when you run the program it works fine so for example for the number of days for feb it is 28 so it works fine however this approach is also problematic using constants will not scale and it is again error prone because nobody is stopping a new developer somebody who joins your team to enter this because when that person would be coding that person would not know what are the allowed values so that person would enter the value which that person seems accurate would deem accurate and then enter it so here if you run this you will end up in error you see because the constant does not exist so both the approaches one was you just use string the second was you use constant but still you are using string both the approaches do not prevent you from making mistakes and that is the thing which we need to tackle and this is where the use of java language or any compile time language comes into picture so this is one of the advantages of a compile time language that it will do a lot of validations for you for example if this method is string so you cannot pass an integer to this value so this is what called as the compiler level validation so let's say if i try to call this function with a variable called as 1 that is integer so the compiler will give me the error that hey this is not allowed you are calling a function which is expecting a string but you are sending the value as one so we need to use the power of compile time validations that is you should not even be able to compile your code if there is a mistake so this is where enums come into picture so what we do is that we'll use this data type called as month which is an enum so what it will do is that it will allow only certain set of values so now what we do is we this is the correct solution we 
put the key as month and then we put that as a key month as a key so now you can see i have uh, configured hash map with key as enum and also i have configured my method with the enum and now when i call the method the only value allowed is month dot these 12 set of values i cannot call this method for the values except for these 12 values so let's say i call how many days are there in the month of june i will get the right answer yes you can see the number of days in the month of june is 30 so this is what called as the compile time validation so if a new developer joins your team that developer would not be allowed to send or call this method with the value any any value except for these values the values which are mentioned here inside the enum so if enum has only 12 set of values that developer cannot call the function with the 13th value so this will have a compile time validation and this will come into picture a lot of places whenever you code in your work or in your projects so enums are not just a fancy fancy data types which you would use out of nowhere but this is something which will help you to have validations at the compile time so let's say i try to do this it will not be even allow me to compile the code it will say that hey this june does not exist so such type of validations where if you make the mistakes the code should not even compile the dot java file should not be converted to a dot class file and even before doing that you should get error that is the best thing you don't even have to write test cases uts etc so this is the advantage of enum and that's my recommendation that is the general recommendation as well that wherever possible if you have any value or any data which has only certain set of values possible for example month so there are only 12 months there is never going to be 13th month or number of days in the week monday tuesday wednesday etc directions north south east west etc so you can see in the cases where there is only certain set of values and yes you can of course go ahead and add new values but again the number of values are certain set of values and they are not indefinite in such cases if you use enum you will be better off you will not be making mistakes because in your program if you keep on passing strings strings throughout the code then you can make mistakes and this facility of enum will not come into the picture so for example if you see i wrote the one of the months march in a small case this is how i define my enum now i don't even have to worry and tell everyone that hey january february is in caps but march is in a small no i don't even have to worry because this is what is this is what the value is allowed you cannot do anything else and now if you run it it will work because the same enum is being used across so that's all from my side for this video i'll keep on posting the videos on various software engineering topics right now i'm trying to accommodate the low level programming as well so till the next time bye